Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. It's Wednesday night, and that means it's time for our weekly segment, Veterans Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Navy veteran Gilbert Ramirez. As part of the CV's Topeka native, Gilbert Ramirez made a difference through his two tours in Vietnam. Overseas, the Navy veterans supported the creation and maintenance of pivotal infrastructure. Originally looking to join two of his brothers in the Marines, a Navy recruiter was able to convince Gilbert to join the Construction Battalion and Combat Unit instead. In Vietnam, that unit had a life-saving task. Our main mission was to build a hospital. And we started building it. it like me, I was a steel worker. We were just busy, busy. That's why they call it the CBs, busy bees. <laughs> Construction Battalion. But uh, from there, we just built and built. That building would go smoothly for Gilbert and his unit until a surprise attack in the fall changed everything. It wasn't until October the 28th, 1965, that we finally got attacked by motors and a small arm fire. They attacked us at the main camp, and then they attacked uh, the hospital site. They blew up a lot of the Quasa hunts that we built already. And right there was the beginning of welcome to Vietnam. Even with combat on their doorstep, that didn't take away the drive from Gilbert's unit. We showed Charlie that we can get her done. We done not only the hospital, we built big supplies, uh, built a bunch of metal buildings. We were totally working. As a steel worker, Gilbert took on many roles and unique jobs. A bulldozer went over this bridge and made it widen the bridge, screwed it up in other words. And we had to go back because there was a main bridge between the main part of the Nang and East the Nang where we were at. And we had to go back, the CVs, and our job was to replace the damage a part of the bridge and we worked on that 24 hours a day day and night and in the rain and we got her done as if the rigorous construction work wasn't enough his unit had to be ready for combat at any moment our weapons they were part of our body all that stuff was nearby i mean we got attack or a small arm fire which we got several times we just get down and get ready even with all the challenges in their path, knowing they were making a difference made it all worthwhile. It was made it feel good by the time it was for us to come home, they were using the hospital already. A CB till the day he dies, the Navy veteran says he would do it all again. He keeps that CB pride every day and co-organizes a local CB's birthday every March. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Gilbert. And if you know someone who could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Then click on the button labeled Nominate a Veteran. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way that we honor these heroes because each week the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyers here with their Veteran of the Week, and that's Gilbert Ramirez, who faithfully served our country in the United States Navy Construction Battalion, which is officially known as the Seabees. He did two tours in Vietnam. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. I want to thank you, LeVon James, for what you're doing to the veterans. I believe it's a real good thing, especially the Vietnam veterans. As you know, we got kicked in the butt when we came home. Yes, sir. And what you're doing for the Vietnam veterans and all the other veterans, we thank you very much. Thank you, Gilbert. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.